Hey, Shy Hard. Marlene Barrett here with Kristen Hager from Chicago Med, along with some of the fantastic actresses from Chicago Fire and TV. And we're going to showcase the important role that women play in the One Chicago universe. <laughs> we know the answer to that. <laughs> That's not true, it's not oh true. Marlene God. is a one take wonder. You heard it here first. Neither? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, probably me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, medical training was integral. So I came out to Chicago a full week early to just do full days with two of our fantastic active trauma okay. surgeons that work down the street from the studio. It was like a boot camp of uh, how to get your PhD over the span of a week, and it was incredible. The authenticity requires a consistent training from us because, I mean, I don't know what most of these procedures are, yeah. you know? Yes, of course. I don't go a season without coming back and at least catching up with bob in or the dentists who are our medical consultants and make sure that we get a chance to at least visit at the hospital and remind ourselves what the atmosphere is in an ed the rhythm in which mm -hmm. life is really lived that x-ray machine i oh, cannot yeah. <laughs> it's like on hydraulics so it's like a moon machine yeah so when they yell action, they expect you like, move it, turn. Fortunately, I don't have to use the x-ray machine. There you go. I think just this sense of camaraderie uh, between your coworkers. I mean, again, we're shooting a television show, so it's like this giant family, but I do believe that it must be that way when stakes are so high day in and day out. VIPs aren't your cup of tea, I take it. I like them. Just from a distance. Maggie and her organ donations. My <laughs> goodness. She's just like, you know, stranger off the street, you need a kidney, here you go. I'll give you mine. <laughs> Haven't seen you in about 15 years, but you know, you're about to die. I will give you one of my organs. I will give you blood. I will give you anything you need. I don't need them. I'm gonna see if I can get you moved up on the transplant list. Maggie, you take such good care of me. Thank you. This season, the first episode I shot with you and Guy, I mean, we laughed so, so much, so much. It was hysterical. Especially when everyone's together. Yeah. Like we just shot this Christmas episode where everyone was together in this room actually, and it was so impossible to control anyone. And the joy <laughs> of being together. Yeah. You're like kids and you're like, oh my God, all the school's coming together. Yeah, it is. Abby That's a really hard question to answer because so many people in this cast are so funny. Marlene is up there though for me. <laughs> she's uh, she's a comedian. <laughs> Number one makes me laugh. I think it would have to go to Jellfish. So Nick Jellfish makes me laugh so much that I gave him this name, Nick Jellfish. And Jellfish is because he's just pliable. He grabs anything and turns it into a one-liner. He's comfortable with his comedy. And it's so crazy because you guys know him as such an intense character yeah. that's like, you know, frowned and is like, oh no, I don't want to kill this person. Just stick to the, <laughs> stick to the script. Stevie doesn't hold back. She's a fighter. She could have had another stroke at any minute. What, what was I supposed to do? She's my patient, Will. You were afraid that I would disagree and I'd stop you. No. It's the same old Will from med school. There's something that I find is very similar between our two characters is this ability to put the bravado on to get the job done. Yeah. They're not hard, but they're firm in their commitment to get the job done and they'll deal with the emotion of it after. Yeah. I think it's essential to be telling these women's stories about the women in the ED and showing their strengths and weaknesses. And I think that all three of these shows do a fantastic job at elevating 
women's stories. I think in the One Chicago world, there's this true understanding of feminism, that we're just strong, we're women, we can be sexy, and we can kick butt all at the same time. I did a scene with Nick Gelfis where my sister's boyfriend was abusing her and we went to a dealership, a car dealership, and I had to punch him. I mean, I wanted to drop kick him. <laughs> you know, I wanted an actual crouching tiger, hidden dragon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was too much, you know, that's how Chicago meant. <laughs> I had a much more minor stunt okay. than that. One of the patients, um, husband of the patient actually grabs my arm and I tell him to remove it mm -hmm. and he doesn't. And I tell him again to remove it and he doesn't. So then I push him off of me. And the thing is, he then becomes slightly confused, loses his balance, falls to the ground, but he had to hit a tray on the way down, send things flying, and fall to the floor. So technically it was considered a stunt, although it was a very light push. And... I'm not sure it was a light push, Chris. <laughs> Anything that has to do with Brian T having rain fall on his chest, it should be considered a stunt because he's hurting the rain. Some of my favorite scenes uh, thus far have been the ones with my mom. I just think that we... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think there was some really special stuff there. When I think about my favorite scene, I think it's when I received the diagnostic that Maggie was cancer-free. I think Maggie was gonna do anything and everything to get an opportunity to meet this daughter, a second chance at life. And every time the journey between meeting the people that did adopt her, then having to just accept that she went into a good family, but she went in it knowing that there was no way she couldn't pursue this relationship. That was fun. Thank you, Marlene. And we hope that you guys enjoyed it too.